Earlier, we discussed how important it is to measure mass and volume. Mass and volume are both extensive properties of matter. That is, they depend on the amount of substance. This brings us to another property of matter that combines measurements of mass and volume. This is density. It tells us how much mass or matter there is for each unit of volume of the sample. Density can be expressed in grams per cubic centimeter or grams per milliliter. Unlike mass and volume, density is an intensive property. It does not change with the size of the sample. That is why density can be used to characterize a given substance. Let's look at samples of substances, each with their own density. Among them, air has the lowest density. Water is 1,000 times more dense than air. Rubber is a bit denser than water. And steel is more than seven times as dense as water. For a pure substance, density does not change with the size of the sample. These two water samples have the same density. But density does change with temperature. That's because most substances expand slightly as their temperatures are raised. Density generally falls with rising temperatures. An exception is water between 0 degrees Celsius and 4 degrees Celsius. Densities for different materials are listed in handbooks and have been measured at 20 degrees Celsius. There are several ways to determine density. The method we choose depends on what kind of sample we have and how accurate we want to be.